welcome back to Troy's Funko Pops. Um, Saturday we did our big live session and we gave away nine or ten prizes. Um, we had a few problems with that. Uh, rookie mistake from me. I thought you could play music in the background um, as long as it was YouTube music. Um, I thought YouTube music meant it was allowed to be used on YouTube. Um, even though the volume was down, the powers that be did pick up on some of the songs so far. They've picked up on three songs um, and they blocked the video for a while, so it took me six hours to pull one of those songs out. So there's going to be a few sections, I think, that are completely muted. Um, it could muck up the video film. I'm not sure what's going to happen with there. We're trying to get through it um, so that other people can't play my video. So it's up there to watch anyway. Uh, congratulations to everybody that did win a prize. Uh, quite a few prizes given out, just the people that commented. Um, I did have someone ask me how to make a comment. I thought all you had to do was subscribe in order to be able to comment on the live feed. Um, but I think I might be wrong because there's a few subscribers that couldn't comment. So if any of you YouTube guys out there that are watching this one, you know what's going on if I click to the wrong button or there's a different setting to change or you know what they have to do to be able to communicate with me on the live feed. Uh, can you give me a yell? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that are really good. So we've got three packages here today. Um, we've got one from Sanity, one from Popnabox, and one from Supportive Solutions. Um, so we're gonna get in and open them. Uh, for you first timers, we're over in Australia. Uh, so our pops are a bit more expensive over here and most of the stuff is by mail because it's an hour and a half drive to my local pop shop. Anyway, let's get in. Uh, I think this is an old order from Sanity. I think it's from last year. Yeah. It's funny, um, you know, I'd quickly zoom in on this. Get the camera girl to zoom in right there. Delivery instructions. Please pack well. Thanks. Now you would think that paying for these so many months ago, um, you can see it looks like it's actually been run over there. We've got dents in this end. Cardboard's been folded over here. So that looks like it's been folded over the top of something. And of course the other end's been pushed in a bit as well. So what do you expect? Okay, so the pops are bigger than the box. So let's put the pops in and fold the top over the top and push them down so that they fit. So you can already see how much damage is on the corner of that one. Just because somebody hates their job and really could not be bothered taking an extra 10 seconds to lay the damn thing on its side. But I don't know how many times I've said this, but almost every single thing I order online from Sanity since they closed my local store, I don't want to do a three hour round trip to go to the next nearest Sanity store. Sanity, you suck. I'm gonna say it right now. This is getting worse every single time. We pay so much money for our pops and stuff, and you guys just stand them up in the box. Oh, they'll be right, let's just go, 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 go. Just shits me. Anyway, just gonna take them out. The demon, I ordered these a long time ago. So it's the glow in the dark demon one. Right now that's not gonna work either. It's gonna be one of those days. side is squashed in they're just overall they're not fronts squashed in sanity you just it's really disappointing that a company that wants your business so badly and is constantly sending bloody messages through emails and stuff hey look at today's special look at today's special you know Twitter all the rest of it there is so many ads Put some time into packing. Yeah. 
Anyway, there's the star child one. You can probably tell I'm a bit grumpy with Sanity. But seriously, every time I order from them, they do this. Even when I ask politely, please pack well, please. You know, it's seven pops. It's a hundred and bloody fifty dollars, hundred and sixty dollars worth, plus shipping. Just a little bit of effort, maybe. You know, the guy that packed it probably got paid 28 cents because it took him like 13 seconds to throw them in a box, squash it down and wrap tape on it and throw it out the door. I don't know whether that was before or after he ran over it, the wheel marks on the box. Anyway, before I get cranky and get kicked off YouTube for saying the wrong thing, let's go to Pop in a Box. Pop in a Box UK, um, I've had a few orders from them. They are a little slow to deliver, but it is overseas because we're in Australia. Um, and this particular one was actually posted from America. So, not sure how that worked. And I think I ordered six Funko Pops, um, two of each type, all with the chance of a chase. We'll open it up. We've got a little bit of plastic packing in the top. These are all in different directions. So I can't actually tell yet. So we'll just start pulling them out and show you guys whether it's the chase or it's just the pop in the box um, exclusive version. So we've got the pop in the box exclusive <laughs> version there. We'll pull the other one out of that and see if that one's the chase. I would love to add the chases of these particular ones to my set. And it's not, but that doesn't matter. They're still pretty cool. Um, it does have the pop in a box exclusive sticker which is good and something different so we'll put them aside um, try and pull these two out turn them away from me okay so it's the Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku PX exclusive PX exclusive so no chase again I'm not very lucky today, you could say. We just opened up a heap of mystery boxes and there was nothing very exciting in there either. Alright, so last two. And this is uh, Venomized Iron Heart. Again, the pop in the box exclusives with the chance of a chase. Can we get one chase? No. Oh well, okay, so the day I'm having, I probably shouldn't have even thought I was going to get a chase or I might get a chase, but that's pretty cool. We've got them. Uh, we'll probably throw them up on eBay. Um, I did really want the pop in a box exclusive version of the chase just to put into my collection, but we can't get everything we want. Um, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. So we'll keep going. Anyone out there collecting Funko Pop pins? Um, there is a couple I'm after from America if you happen to get some. Uh, yeah, they glow in the dark. Let me know um, because there's quite a few that glow in the dark that I, I still don't know about. All right, these are a double pack, so we're just going to whip them out and put them straight on. So first up is Heat Ray Godzilla, the blue version, FYE, Glow in the Dark exclusive. And next out is Miles Morales, uh, Programmable Matter Suit. This is the GameStop exclusive version, Glow in the Dark again of course. So these ones will, will be going straight into my collection. Plenty of packing and in, in hard stack and well not hard stacks but semi semi hard stacks I guess you could say. I'll put them over to the side. Alright, so next up we have King Groot, and this is the GameStop 
version. And our last one is a zombie gambit. This is the box lunch exclusive glow in the dark. Uh, nothing else in there. I only bought four off those guys. Um, I think I only bought them on Thursday and today is Monday. So it's only taken a couple of days to get them packed and get them to ship and they're here. Uh, that's very quick. Um, rather than sanity, I think that was around six months, maybe more. Um, and pop in a box, it's been probably about six weeks. It's a little disappointing not getting a chase there, but we can't have it all the time. Um, it is a game of luck. We'll keep trying. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Um, congratulations again to those winners on Saturday in the live feed. Everything has been shipped out. Everything went out first thing this morning. Uh, so you should all get those shortly. Um, don't forget, yeah, drop a message down below. Um, yeah, let me know if there's some other setting I can put on my live feed to allow everyone um, that's a subscriber to comment because apparently some can't. I do apologise to those people. I didn't wasn't made aware of that until the end of the end the end of the live. Um, check out my eBay. Um, drop a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and thanks for watching.